back to Tabletop Hero, just as I promised. Got a nice uh, scenario set up here for the Battle of Britain, scenario number one, which is Never in the Field, a fierce dogfight between two patrols of fighters in the skies over England. The background, on August 29th, 1940, a formation of about 650 German fighters, including the BF-109s and BF-110s, crossed the channel and headed towards Kent. 13 fighter squadron, including the 610th squadron, scrambled to intercept them. A number of dogfights occurred. Historical outcome. Several planes were shot down on both sides, but in the end, the RAF, the RAF disengaged to avoid being crushed by the numer the numbers superiority of the Luftwaffe. So here we are, guys. Like I said, just a quick little overview of uh, the game mat here. Um... One thing quick before I go into that, I'm fairly new to this. Uh, if you got any ideas on how to make these videos any better uh, as I go along in these series, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to figure out the format to make it most interesting and uh, most entertaining for everyone out there who's interested in Wings of Glory. So if you have any ideas, like I said, please comment below. And uh, with that being said, let's get into the map there. Uh, as you can see, it's a fairly clear uh, day here over the English Channel in England, and uh, we got two uh, measure smiths heading over the channel, heading in towards uh, England to cause some troubles. The Royal Air Force here has actually picked them up on raid, radar and in progress and meeting these guys uh, over the fields of England, and uh, let's see what the outcome is, guys. And uh, another thing real quick, I'm using Herky Bird solo rules for the Spitfires, so... Uh, you can see actually how uh, well this worked. I used them before in the War One campaigns, and these rule sets usually work really great. Uh, just wanted to put that out there, and uh, let's get into the battle, guys. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys, here's the second move in turn one. I'm going to skip on showing some of the card movements, uh, change things up from time to time. Like I said, I'm trying to figure this out, but uh, here we go. Uh, second move in turn one. What I usually do is do mine, and then I figure out the solo so I ain't cheating. And my idea right now, I'm trying to split these guys up. I want to see how well this solo rule works with the two planes. Let's see what happens and kind of demonstrate it for you guys. But there you go. Two measure uh, Schmitz are splitting apart, going after the two Spitfires. Now here's the uh, RAF, RAF's turn. That turned out to be a pretty good move right there by uh, the first plane turning. And all these are at high speed. That seems like a decent move. Uh, just short. This one here, though. One on each of those planes. Uh, long range. That's going to be a B and a C. C damage marker for the British Spitfire. Wounded pilot. So that's a pretty good start. And let's see what this one gets. B marker. Or uh, damage. Result for the first measurement down here in the, uh, to the left is a zero. Alright guys, going to figure out the cards and I'll be right back. Alright guys. I got another uh, set of cards set out here and what I decided to do with the solo rules so I'm not uh, figuring out or reacting to their moves. I'm only drawing uh, one card for the Spitfires and I'm planning out both of my moves so I uh, can't remember and uh, get confused on and I'm, I'm getting a better play out of the solo cards. Uh, just an idea there. Uh, I guess that's what I just came up with. I think that's going to work a little better. But anyway, here I am. Um, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to resolve both moves. 
Measure Schmidt number one. High speed again. Okay, well, I'm going to lay that card right there. And then, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do the Spitfire real quick so we get past each other. That was a good move. We're out of each other's way. So that worked out. Now let me resolve uh, my other measure Schmidt here. Boom. And let me do the Spitfire. So far, these guys are playing a little bit of cat and mouse with each other, feeling each other out. And there's that one. Uh, as you can see, there is no uh, firing going on here. So uh, let me go back and uh, let me do the uh, next move for the Spitfires here and figure them out with the dice and what zones, guys. All right, guys, just uh, real quick, I thought uh, I'd demonstrate real fast in case someone doesn't know how herky bird stuff uh works you kind of get a template here and there's a bunch of um movement um diagrams on the movement deck that each plane would work and what you would do is there's a measure schmidt right here here's the spitfire you would lay this at the base so and it tells you what zone it's in it's in zone 10 and then you roll a dice and it tells you what card to select and that gives the movement for the Spitfire. So that being said, when I did that and what I rolled, it pulled out this card here. That's on the diagram for the movement cards. It tells you by the dice you roll and what sector it's in by what card you choose. And you lay it like so as normal. And uh, it gives the solo, rule, or, uh, the solo move for the airplane. And there's a little uh, demonstration of it. Uh, as such, uh, he, here's another one, Spitfire Measure Schmidt. You put the template down, Zone 7, and I rolled. It told me what card, and the card that this aircraft was chosen by Herkybird's rules, and the dice being rolled was that one. And just as easy as that, guys, that's how it works out. Uh, I'm going to resolve both of my planes now. And like I said, I had no idea that that one was going to be chosen. So it was a pretty good move on my part there. And then uh, next plane. High speed. And I just realized I had all these planes set for high speed moves. Uh, this Spitfire here, uh, correction, the pilot's actually wounded. So uh, I do believe he can't do high speed maneuvers because he's a little bit slower than normal since he's uh, injured. But right now, we're just going to leave it at that, guys, and uh, we'll just go from there. All right, uh, I'm going to re-pick up, guys, reset up the cards, and go into uh, the next set of actions. All right, guys, we're into a new turn. I've already moved all the planes. As you can see here, my Measure Schmidt here is closing on the Spitfire, the wounded pilot. He's going to draw one damage from the B, or uh, I'm sorry, from the C. I'm going to go in here in the blind. We're going to hold up C, see what it is, 3. This pilot isn't doing good, he's up to the 9 damage now on that Spitfire. Out of 17. So, uh, 8 more damage and he's out of here. And, uh, here are the other two planes. So you can see they're... Out of range. Way far away. Alright guys. 
let me move uh, let me do the next moves on the cards and we'll be right back all right guys we're back just did the next series of moves the measure Schmidt here is closing in on that wounded pilot just missing him just outside of the firing arc and the other two over here battle going on again the measure Schmidt's closing in at the same time that that Spitfire is trying to maneuver around onto the uh, measure Schmidt all right guys I'm going to do the next set of cards guys be right back all right guys I'm going to do the movement on my cards or my planes here I'm at low speed measure Schmidt's coming around on this Spitfire There's his move. I'm going to resolve this Spitfire's move. He's also doing low speed due to him being injured. And I do believe we got him in our arc, guys. Got him, guys. We're tagging him on the tail there. That was actually... Long range still. He's going to pull another C. Let's see what we got here. And. Oh my lord guys. That's a big one. That Spitfire just went down guys. Just went down. He's done. All flames. For England, down in a ball of flames. Okay, let's see if I want to get these other two planes over here in the picture. His buddy just went down. He, he probably just saw that. He probably didn't quite see it. It's behind him. Probably does not even aware of it yet. I'm gonna move my measure, Schmidt. He's doing a high speed move. He's trying to get around onto this measure Schmidt. Probably from his side view there, just realizes his buddy's down in the ball of flames. Gonna resolve this, guys. Looks like the Measure Schmidt's got one up on the Spitfire here, guys. Definitely long range. That's going to be another C token. Just one. Another C token. Zero. Oh, his first hit on him. He's gotten lucky, but he's not really that lucky because he's got another... Excuse me, a measure Schmidt coming around. Uh, I'm not even sure if he realizes yet that he's got uh, his buddy's gone down in a ball of flames. We're going to uh, see it here in a second, guys. Uh, I'll be right back. Going to resolve the next set of moves. All right, guys, I just resolved all the moves. As you can see here, the Spitfire's coming around trying to. Get a good angle on this measure Schmidt that's been on his tail. They've been tailing each other in circles. As he comes around, he could probably see the smoke there that, from his buddy who just went down uh, in the previous turn. So now he's realizing that, uh, man, I'm all alone here. And here comes the other measure Schmidt as well. He could probably see coming up. Uh, he's coming down to chase him as well. We got uh, this measure Schmidt. The close one is close. Let's see how many uh, hits he gets. I'm going to say that's one. It's going to be another C. Another C for long range. Oh, he's got another zero. Well, I think I'm going to call it there, guys. Obviously, 
in this situation with this Spitfire seeing his buddy's going down he's just taken two hits and uh, he's gotten very fortunate with zero hits twice he says I'm not gonna count my lucky stars anymore I'm gonna get the heck out of Dodge and both these measure Schmitz are probably gonna turn around and start heading back over the channel themselves because they only had so much fuel and so much time to mess around and dogfight guys and they've been pretty much moving at high uh, high speeds so anyway I'm going to conclude it there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for visiting and watching this video on Wings of Glory World War II and the campaign that we're doing here. Uh, like I said, trying to figure out a format. I hope you guys like it. Please comment down below anything that you think I can do to improve it or make it more interesting. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time. And thanks for coming in and visiting Tabletop Hero, guys. Bye-bye.